Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the GeForce Experience error message 0x0003 on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 device where the GeForce Experience is not working or opening. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in services. Best match should come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. Now there are four services you want to locate here. They're all going to have NVIDIA in the name of them. So I don't have NVIDIA drivers on this computer. I do have my on my host machine, but not in the virtual machine here. But there'd be four NVIDIA services you want to locate. It'd be the NVIDIA telemetry container, NVIDIA display service, NVIDIA local system container, and NVIDIA network service container. And you want to go ahead and double click on each one of those one at a time. Make sure startup type is set to automatic and that the service status is, is running. And if it stopped, you want to start it. And then you want to go over to the log on tab and you want to go ahead and just, just left click on that. And you want to go ahead and set it to local system account. Check mark where it says allow service to interact with desktop. And you would do that for each of the four services that I mentioned. Again, the NVIDIA telemetry container, the NVIDIA display service, the NVIDIA local system container, and the NVIDIA network service container. So note all four of those. You do the same for all of them. And then you would select apply and OK to save the change for each of them. And then once you know what that, you go online and you'd search for NVIDIA GeForce download. Go ahead and search for that. One of the best results should be a NVIDIA web page here. Go ahead and open that up. And you would go ahead at this point and select the Windows PC download. And once it's downloaded, go ahead and open it up to run it. Select yes if you receive the user account control prompt. And then you just would follow along with the on-screen prompts of installing the application. So again, pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.